we're going to try this again. Uh, hi, I'm Michael Shalinsky, and uh, I uh, got this spreadsheet here going for people and their finances. I hear that people don't know how to create a basic budget, and uh, so I have created a spreadsheet here. This is an example of uh, what it looks like if you get paid month to month. If you get paid uh, bi-monthly, you would have a column for every uh, paycheck. And if you got paid weekly, you would have one. You would have one weekly. So you would have uh, four for every month. Okay. So um, this is a basic income and expense sheet. And down here, you see I already put in uh, savings. And I'm just, you know, it's a good idea to try to save 10% of your income. So if you see this formula down here, I got total income times 10%. Uh, that number is going to change, you know, so that you can make these numbers work. Because if you look at the end here, you'll see you're about uh, two grand in the hole. And uh, but what you uh, don't realize is that you're that's uh, there's savings there. So you're ahead by a grand. And then the only two numbers uh, that are really adjustable in this income, I put them in blue because, you know, anytime you take money away from, you know, buying food or, you know, spending money uh, for yourself, your little allowance here, it's going to make you blue. It's going to make you sad. Okay. And then uh, what happens is when people budget is they don't uh, plan ahead for the events that come in uh, sporadically. So, you know, your car insurance payments could be every six months or every four months. You know, people don't always pay it, you know, annually. So I just, uh, I slapped it in here as uh, every six months. But uh, the way my insurance company works is if that bill comes in and I don't have the money, I can pay half of that and put half of it off for a future date. So you can make those decisions when you're pushing numbers around. But, uh, you know, the main concern isn't here at the end of the year, woohoo, I'm, I'm ahead, just change this number and be done because uh, you're not going to be able to pay bills when you come up uh, short here in these months that show you that you're in the red. So now you have to figure out how to move these numbers around so that at the end of the year, this shows a positive a number of right around a thousand or so. And um, hopefully then you uh, will be ahead for the year or at least uh, you'll have at least a thousand dollars in the bank to uh, pay for dental work or whatever. And then uh, this is assuming that you use, that if you use your credit card, it's to pay any of the bills that you've already have here listed in your expenses. Okay, it doesn't include a television, and that you're going to carry a balance to pay off the television. Uh, you deal with that separately. And you would put that in expenses here and decide I'm going to pay this much a month to pay down the television or um, I know I'm going to get my tax return. You can put your tax return here and uh, when do those show up in, uh, I don't know, July or whatever. You put your tax return in there and then you figure you're just going to use your tax return to pay off that credit card. So uh, the thing is, you don't want to keep a balance on your credit card because that interest is expensive. So, all right, let's try to make this work here. So, you know, w what I'm going to assume is that, you know, uh, the first month, you know, you've got money in savings or somewhere. And uh, so you're going to make this number work by either uh, pulling money out of savings um, or... Uh, that's pretty much it. You know, you're gonna have to pull pull money out of savings. So um, I would just I'm just gonna assume that you've got this figured out. Uh, you know, you have to have some savings laying around somewhere. So we're gonna assume that January is pretty much taken care of. So what we're gonna do is zero this out and assume that we got money from uh, savings or we planned ahead for that. So we're gonna. Uh, Zero that out by putting 457 in there. Uh, whoops, 457. 
why did the number change? 57. No, I went the wrong way. So we're going to go, uh, yeah, we're going to yank money from savings. So, uh, so we're going to say equals 225 minus 457 because we pulled it out of savings from before somewhere. So that should, ah, that should have zeroed it out. Why didn't it? Okay, let's go back to 252 and see what happened here. Oh, 252, there's my dyslexia popping up. You have to learn how to figure this stuff out. There, okay. We zeroed that that one out. That that money came from the previous year. So now uh, we got to look at all these other days. And here's where people get excited. And they think, woohoo, I got some money. And they're not thinking, hey, it's February. Uh, what's going to happen, you know, next month? Well, next month is the, your utilities. And it could be 800 It could be 850 It could be... 650 but you know you want to plan for the average at least so if you look over here you see that you're in the hole on that month and you still don't have enough to make up for it so i wouldn't pull out a savings first okay i would uh plan ahead first you know so uh one way you can do that is you can uh, dump all that in savings, but then you might not remember what the money's for. So first thing I would do is uh, put that money up in here to go help pay for your um, utilities for the next month. So you put in here 343 and uh, you're going to balance out that day. So you can remove 343 from here so you turn this into a formula and you say uh, minus 343 uh, because you took it from last month so here we got now we're 114 in the hole so this is when you go uh, you hit your savings so you're gonna put that amount in and you're gonna uh, subtract out the uh, you're gonna subtract out the 114. So you're not gonna put as much into savings as you want to. So bang, you got another day uh, uh, zeroed out. So here now we're 193 dollars ahead. Woohoo! I'm gonna go buy me something. Oh no 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 no. Okay, so you didn't get as much money because your tags were here. So if, you know, if uh, if you were still hurting over here, you, you wouldn't be expecting your tags. You won't remember that it's time to pay your tags. So luckily you had enough, and you have enough to put money in savings. But you got another utilities bill coming up over here, and you're f almost uh, $460 in the hole there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put that 193 towards our utilities right here. 193 towards our utilities. We zeroed that one out. So here we need to uh, add, uh, remove 193 from this number, right? Minus one because we got it going the next month. So now you can see that you saved $193 this month to go towards your utilities. And and uh, the utilities bill is going to come up in May. So, uh, you know, one thing that we could do if we're going to always be uh, massaging these numbers, you, we could change these cells to a different number so you know that, I mean, a different color so that you know um, this is when the bills do, you know. Uh, so there's no guesswork. So uh, you can, um, I guess it won't. Okay, yeah, it will. So we'll, we'll mark those cells on the month that they're due. You go up to format here and uh, change the uh, cell and you change the fill. And what kind of color do we want? Uh, that's a utility bill. I don't know, whatever. Um, uh, it doesn't really matter. 
you don't want green, we'll just go pink, whatever. No, yeah, pink, because it's, uh, red's an expense, pink, so you're borrowing money, you, so you're saving money this month, you know the bill comes due that month, if that helps you. Uh, we could have changed the color of the numbers or whatever, but, you know, this works. But you can still see we're $264 in the hole, and uh, uh, you got you got some savings going on here. So, uh, you've been doing pretty good here. You've been saving money, saving money, saving money. So, I would go ahead and zero out your savings. And uh, let's just, you can make it 0% just to make it easy. You're still 12 bucks in the hole. So, you know, just take it right out of your food allowance. That's the easiest way. So, you know, just drop it down to uh, 613. You know, just watch your budget. You know, in 12 bucks, you should be close enough. You know, give or take, 12 bucks is, could come out of anywhere. You could save money on gasoline. But this is, you know, those are average numbers. So this is just, at least you know that if you're looking at the average numbers, uh, you're going to come out balanced. And then, you know, uh, if you have ways that you earn extra income, that's great. If you have ways that you can save money that month, like um like on cable i pay sometimes for um hbo or netflix and you know if you're going to be hurting for a few months cancel your damn netflix for three months and save some money there's nothing wrong with that it's not going to kill you so here we are we're we're back on the spreadsheet and we're in the red again you got you have your redder insurance and damn your your car insurance came up but again you've been saving money so uh, there's uh, not a lot of places to borrow it from. You can, uh, let's see. Yeah, you're going to have to dig it. So no savings this month. So make that a zero. No savings. Zero. No savings that month. Or 45 bucks. So where can you uh, cut back? You're gonna drive less? Uh, maybe not. Probably not. Uh, drop your allowance and your food. You know, don't buy, don't buy as expensive a meal or eat out of, um, you know, 20 bucks. Go, you don't go to the movies or you don't go out drinking. One night you'll save, you'll save 50 bucks. So we're gonna drop allowance by 45 dollars. So just say equals. And then go 45 minus the $45 that we're short, and bang, we're in the green again. Okay, and you're still you're still putting money into savings. Okay, so well, here we go again. We're in, we're in the red, and this one's gonna be a tough one because we don't have we don't have anything going on here. We're not gonna be able to erase all of that. So uh, we're not going to save money again, which is okay. You know, you know, it's just a goal. So we're going to take this number and we're going to bring it down to zero because we can't save. And then uh, we still got two hundred bucks. We need to come from someplace else. So uh, usually I I don't like to. Uh, I would probably just go into savings at this point unfortunately uh, 200 yeah because that's all you're gonna do here you know you can uh, move it from savings to somewhere up here but you you won't know what you did so uh, this is a month you just go from savings so I, I would change this formula here then to a negative 205 negative 205 and just pull it out of savings uh, that's okay because I'm sure if you go look at your savings total here at the end of the year you're still you're still ahead of the game okay so don't freak out yet and look you're already uh, $525 uh, you know you're only $525 in the red here so we're getting closer so uh, here we're in the green you, you can't move it backwards because you haven't earned that money yet so uh, we got to always uh, 
look forward and save the money from the past, which is exactly what we're going to do here. So we have a rough patch here where we're we're uh, taken from savings, but that's what savings is for. Is you know you, you can put it on your credit card, I guess, and then uh, pay it from savings. But um, this is just so you see where you're spending your money and where you need to make sure you have money put away. Because if you're living hand to mouth, you want to make sure you're covering everything that you need. So we're in the green here. We're in the red here. So we're going to take that 343 and put it towards our, our uh, utilities. Okay. And that zeroes that out. We're going to reduce this by 343. So we're going to put, put uh, equals, right, to make it a formula. Minus 343, and then we're going to see what that does. So now we're 114. I would just remove that right from that savings number right there. So uh, we're going to go in there and make this a form, uh, make that a form, edit that formula, and we're going to say minus 114. So we're still putting money in the bank, just not as much. Oops, what did I do wrong? Yeah, we're still putting money in the bank, 138 bucks, and we put uh, 252 bucks in the bank last month. So I think we're still doing okay. We dropped that number. So uh, yeah, so we need to take this 343 and put it up here. Uh, did I take it from the wrong spot? 343 right here, 343, bang, and then 800, wait did I do, oh man, I got confused, 343, 450, okay, so, I got confused, see now this is where you got to figure out what you did, so this is uh, minus the 343 to make the 800 for that month. Okay, so now we're over to this month. And it looks like we're going to basically do the same. So that's what confused me. All right, so we're going to do the same thing here. So we're going to take the 343, right? And then we're going to come over here and make that a formula. And back out the 343 because we got it from here. I could say I could make it a formula and actually have it subtract from that month. And uh, that would make it easier, but wouldn't make it perfect. So then we reduce the savings by 114. So minus 114. All right. So now we got one more month where we got uh, 297 in the hole. So, because uh, we have the renter's insurance again and the car insurance again. And uh, so basically, again, we'll just take from savings. Uh, so we'll zero out savings. Make that a zero percent, right? And then 45 bucks, that's easy. Just, you know, take it out of your allowance or your food. So, you know, make this a formula. So equals, and then minus 45. And bingo, bango, Bob's your uncle. You got balance, and all your bills are covered. And you can see exactly uh, why you're saving. Uh, so you're, why you're saving this money, because the bill's due in the pink. You're saving that money, bill's due in the pink, right? Uh, and this is your... The gold line is your savings, right? And you did your best to save money uh, every month. You had a couple where uh, you couldn't save money. And there could be ways where you could play with it and split up how you save it. Um, but, you know, that's kind of ridiculous. Okay, so that's how you, you get your balance budget, okay? But if you're carrying a balance on a credit card, okay, uh, this is what you have to do. Okay, every month you're gonna pay. You're not gonna put money in savings. 
okay, and you're going to pay every bill that you can pay with a credit card. You're going to pay every bill you can pay with a credit card, and then you're going to pay the credit card off as much as you can because you don't want to have that interest piling up. So I, I hope that makes sense. It you, you don't want to save money in the bank at 0 or 3% and then pay 20% on a credit card. So instead of putting it away, you pay it on the credit card. And if you really need something, then you use the credit card. And the same with the, uh, the gasoline bill. You know, if you've been, uh, if you, uh, if you like normally, if you use the gasoline and it's part of your allowance, you just pay the credit card and it's part of your allowance. But um, if you have a credit card balance and you make sure you pay with a credit card, you know, you don't pay with cash because you want to pay down the credit card just so the interest um, doesn't kill you because the interest, uh, they usually give you 30 days. So if you pay it, if you pay as much as you can every 30 days, you'll save a little bit on interest. So, and then if you're carrying a balance, you're going to have to put the interest that you're paying in here. You know, then you would put a credit card. You would add a line, a credit card, uh, card, and you'd make sure you're paying the uh, payment and the interest on the credit card every month, so that you can. Uh, try to get that paid down. Don't carry balances on your credit card. Okay, I hope that makes some sense, any sense at all. Uh, I'm actually pretty shocked I got through it with only a little bit of stumbling there. And I left that in there because it can be frustrating. It's not very fun. And this is just a small spreadsheet with a few income and expense uh, lines there. People are going to have more expenses than this. But you have to sit through and go through the frustration. Otherwise, what happens is when you get surprise bills, you're screwed. And if you don't see that you have money backed up, a thousand bucks won't even pay to get a tooth pulled, okay? So that's why you gotta keep your credit cards clean because when you get a tooth pulled, you're gonna you're gonna pay a thousand bucks and then you're gonna carry that balance and you're gonna say, okay, I need to pay a hundred dollars a month to get that off my off my debt. Don't drive blind. Okay, let's see if this works.